so I got a new Apple Box to open. It's the new Retina Display iPad Mini. As with all their products, Apple put a little extra thought and quality into the packaging of the iPad Mini. In fact, the box is so well made it doesn't want to let me in. There we go. So we have the iPad Mini. With what I guess are the quick start guides underneath. Along with a cable. And an AC adapter. And everything comes creatively wrapped in plastic, which obviously has to be removed. The Retina display is probably the most obvious upgrade in the new iPad mini, giving it twice the resolution of the old iPad mini. But along with the Retina display, which really is beautiful, is the A7 processor and the M7 coprocessor, both of which can be found in the iPhone 5S and the iPad Air, putting the Retina display iPad mini in the company of Apple's best mobile products. And there's the quick start guides. with the ever-present Apple stickers. As far as storage goes, the Retina Display iPad Mini comes in 16, 32, 64, and 128 gig models, giving a nice boost over the maximum storage of the old iPad Mini. The cable that comes with the new iPad Mini has a somewhat controversial lightning connector at one end and a standard USB at the other. So for charging, you just plug it all in and you're ready to go. If you're familiar with Apple iPads or iPhones, you won't have any trouble finding anything. The back-facing camera, the headphone jack, the controls, and the front-facing camera are all where you'd expect them to be. The setup will be quick and painless as well. Simply turn it on. Enjoy the greeting. Swipe it, and it'll take you through the process. All you'll need to do is simply tap the appropriate option when prompted. That's it, and the beautiful retina display world of the new iPad mini is ready to explore.